Welcome, ladies and gents, to Ramsgate Rail Pool League. This is month seven. We've got Brad, the bottle of wool, playing our very own Italian stallion, Jez Del Signor. We've got Brad at the table. Looks like Jez has knocked a few in. Oh, Brad won't be happy with that. It's a, a straight yellow to the top he's missed there. Jez coming up to the table. He's got some work to do to get round to the black from this position. But as you can see from the guns on this guy, power will not be a problem. Looks like he eats bricks for breakfast. And for those of you wondering, that is a shirt. It's not body paint. Oh, he's lost a cue ball, potted the white and given Brad the sniff of a chance. Brad's currently down at the bottom of the table. Uh, he's not won any games as yet, but like he has in the plastic population, say the only way is up. Is that a nice spot there from Brad? He doesn't seem too worried about what the cue ball is doing. Maybe that's part of the problem he's faced. Got the choice now of all four of them, actually. Oh, no. No, make up your mind, man. He's like a hipster trying to choose between his favourite IPAs. Oh, oh and he's, he's got fluked lucky it. And he's left, left a snooker, snooker anyway. But he's managed to put it in the middle. Is that a hard pot coming up? Don't know if he's got this in him, but he's having a look, holding his cue out there like Harry Potter after giving it the old Expecto Patronum. And what a bit of magic that is. Lovely cut to the top right. Straight down onto the next. He looks full of confidence. This is a man with nothing to lose. And what a pot that is. Right in the heart of the pocket. Again, not too worried about what he's doing with the cue ball. He's left himself an awkward double. And uh, I don't know what he was trying to do there. He's just hit it off the middle of the cushions. Left Jez. Uh, quite straightforward, Black. You back him to pot this. Easy, and he puts away his post-workout protein shakes. 1-0, Jez. Go into frame two. Jez at the table's playing reds. Looking at one to the middle. Wow, he's hit that like it has stole something off him. Wallop straight into the heart of the pocket. Absolutely miles past where he really wanted the red. I think he's looking to open these two up down on the bottom of the table. Oh, that's a foul. What's he done there? He's had a nightmare. He's given Brad a real chance now to get a frame on the board. Is that a decent looking first shot? He's uh, opened that yellow up to the bottom pocket and he's gone straight back down on it. Hold up. That looked like a foul to a me foul? as well. I don't know if both of these lads need a stronger prescription. I think Jez has said something. They're off to confer about whether Brad has fouled on that last shot or not. We've got an off-camera pose down going on to decide if it was a foul or not. And if you want to see that, you'll need to subscribe to our adult channel. We've got Jez coming back to the table. Two shots, ball in hand. I'd make him a strong favourite from there. You'll notice while he's thinking about these shots, you'll see the right arm bent, scratching his nose or straight down, giving the old tricep pose, giving the viewers what they want to go along with our bang average pool content. So he's looking at a long one down the table to leave himself on the only awkward ball he's got. Dropped right into the heart of the pocket. Nicely cued, Jez. Taking this awkward one along the cushion now, and the rest should be... Pretty much elementary. Though if any of you had the misfortune of watching my game versus Jody, you'll know you can take nothing for granted in this league. This is all just now about judging the pace and it looks like he's left it short. He's left this one just a touch awkward for himself. The big man with a gentle touch. Let's see if he can save the clearance from here. Oh, he's missed it. Brad is in. Brad has got a real chance to nick this frame from Jez. Here we go, looking at... No, but he's changed his mind. He's having a look. He doesn't know what he's doing, as has been evidenced all season long. That's a nice pot to the top. Looks like he's left himself a bit awkward queuing against the cushion. He's still on it to the middle, and he's down on it, looking confident. Let's see if he can get it on the black. No, he's just decided he's going to pot the white. He didn't want to win anyway. I would now back Jez's infant son. 
to clear the table from here. And to be fair, in a heads up game, I'd probably back his boy to beat Brad anyways. Taking this one just off straight. Beautiful, dropped on the black. This will be 2-0 to Jez. Brad's had his chances, but has found himself 2-0 down. We're in the third frame. Jez at the table, playing yellows. That's a rocket to the bottom pocket, leaving himself nice little plant to the middle. These look like they could all be there, and a player of Jez's calibre is capable of taking them all. Nicely done, Jez. Nice touch. And he's left himself options. He's got one bottom right at the other, top left. Looking like he's going to take the top left and try and drop behind these two near the black ball. Try and take them to the opposite side, middle pocket. Nicely done. You wouldn't think it'd be easy to control the pace of the ball when you've been carved out of granite like Jez has. Having a look now to see if this goes past the other yellow. He needs it in clean. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, he's had a nightmare. He's given that a little kiss on the way through. And that's made his life much harder. Not sure what he's going to do now. Mostly because I'm terrible at pool and have no idea what I would do. While well, he's taking a moment, drink it in, viewers. What a specimen this man is. He's having a look at this one to the bottom here, trying to maybe stun across. Oh, no, didn't want to try and play the cannon. Made sure of the pot, and it was a nice pot. Here's a decision to make now. Brad just coming in with the both of them on camera. They look like a right said Fred tribute act, though the two of them together would be enough to send anyone deeply dippy. He's weighing up his options here, Jez. The way I see it, he's got two shots on. He could try and take the yellow in the middle of the table down to the bottom pocket and try and disturb the red and the yellow. Or he could just simply try and bring this yellow out and say to Brad, I don't think you're good enough. You can't clear this table. You don't have the minerals. He's gone with option two and I make him right. Brad's coming to the table and he needs to clear these up to keep himself alive, not only in the match, but in his quest to get off the bottom of the table. Taking one of the harder ones on, a roll down the cushion to the bottom left. And that's gone about as expected. Jez is in here, make him strong favourite to clear these up. There's no problem balls at all. This for Jez needs to be a big win versus Brad as he tries chasing down our league leader, Chris. Regular viewers of the channel remember when Chris and Jez played, it was a 7-1 win to Chris and a much higher standard of pull than we usually put out. Jez is looking to close that gap. Nice pot to the bottom there, no problems at all. That's Lee over on the other table, one of our other players. Jez is just shifting him out of the way. Drops to black here. No problems. 3-0. Starting right at the start of frame four. And Jez has hit that break harder than a drunken stepfather. Balls have gone everywhere. We've got reds all over the pocket. He's having a little check at what's down. He must be thinking about taking reds here. They look like they're all there. Real chance of a break and dish. Let's see what Jez can do. Looks like he's going to work his way around the balls at the top end of the table first. Simple stuff. And now he's looking at a nice, easy plant into the top right there. Maybe hoping to come around and set another plant up. Left himself on the cushion, straight to the middle pocket. It's not one that I would want it to leave, but Jez is a lot better than me. As you'd expect from this guy, no problems at all. Right into the heart of the pocket. Coming round now to take this last ball up that end of the table. Oh, a bit of chalk. Looks like he might be trying something with the cue ball here. Doesn't want any kicks or miscues. No, nope, just stuns it off the top. Kush left himself on the tricky ball now down to the bottom left pocket. If this goes in, it's a beautiful break and dish. If not, he's failed and has disappointed everyone. It's wiped its feet and stayed out. You can see Jez is disappointed, but not nearly as disappointed as we all are in him. Brad's up now and he needs a miracle from this position. A little dance about, he's picked his ball finally 
and that is no good that's the pool equivalent of what happens when brad has dairy fun fact about brad whilst filming an episode of bargain hunt he had to have a specially designed toilet map in case of a dairy fueled toilet emergency jez now looking to go four nil up and secure at minimum a draw he's showboating now look at the deep screw he's got on that he's gonna drop this black in for four nil frame five and we find bradley at the table hampered q in doesn't look too happy no he's he's changed his mind he's gonna go for this one top right not a gimme by any means but he needs to pull out all the stops now to try nick some frames and close the gap on those down the bottom of the table with him as i said at the start rad is the most improved player in the league which gives you an idea of how bad he was when he started that is not particularly close though it was a tricky pot and jez has got a chance there's a couple of bunch together but i feel like he's got an angle where he can play into these right away if he really wants to and open this frame up looks like jez is taking the bottom of these three reds he's decided not to go into them so they must all pot cleanly making this clearance a real formality as he's on camera and he's not had too much time let's tell you a bit about brad he's one of the better looking less talented members of the pool league he is an absolute chuffer nut and has touched himself to many a steam train i spoke about earlier he will be on an episode of bbc's bargain hunt though i feel like they've done that just to steal some of the clout that we've made with our only frames channel trying to get a quick ratings fix since the decline of the show since the duke david dickinson has left jez has made these balls appear like absolute child's play looking like 5-0 is a certainty though that has run on more than he'd like he's having a little look here i think he thinks he's in danger of an in off but should still be a piece of pie for this guy looking like he's got some deep screw on it look at the action on that once again those muscles really doing the job five nil and this isn't fair we're joining frame six late on which means not much has happened some balls have gone down but i assume the standard hasn't been great that's a great pot there from jez he's obviously not been able to do anything with the cue ball he's just needed to drop that in the black awkward probably could have done with the white rolling on a bit looks like he's going to try and double it into the left the middle he's got a double kiss that's not particularly close but he'll be quite happy with where he's left the black brad has got a chance here though he's got a nice simple starter into the middle i'd expect even brad to make that nicely done brad nice angle on the red as well he's got a chance with the angle he's left to register the first frame of the match which will be a small victory in itself just has a double check make sure he's lined the pot up correctly he's not brad what have you done you maybe need to get a look at your prescription for those glasses buddy not an easy one for jez though brad played no position at all so he's left a long pot up the rail oh jez has rattled it but he'll be happy with how he's left the white here a lot of distance between the two balls brad's either got to think about cutting the red fine or an up and down double no but he's taken on the quadruple it looks like it looks like he's got a chance did that roll out did that roll out towards the top left there because it looked good just for a moment brad will be feeling hard done by there this though looks like a formality for six nil to jez the pot will be a formality for jez does that white run away no no problems at all six nil and the whitewash is on we're joining frame seven deep into the action jez with nothing on has played a clever little safety shot leaving brad nothing easy and this guy could really do with an easy one to get started I don't know what the plan is with the furthest of the three reds, maybe to the top or the middle. No, nope. no, nope. he's tried to pot the white and he's managed to fail at that. 
Also, the white was in and out of the middle pocket quicker than a pint of milk passes through Brad. Jezzy's in with a real chance here. It's not a complete gimme with the last yellow and black so far apart and both on cushions. That's a nice first shot. He's made a, a decent angle to give himself a chance. But we'll be looking at this yellow played with a lot of top. Try and force an angle out. He's had a real good run at that. This time though, not enough power. Maybe he needs to go and do some dumbbell curls as he'd have liked to have been about a foot or two further up the table. Still cuts. And that's 7-0 Jez. Right at the table in the eighth and final frame. Looking to disturb these. Oh, he's got as much action on that cue ball as his train spotting pals get on a Friday night. Never mind, he's still got the yellow to the middle. Simple pot. He's missed that as well. I think his head has gone. I think he's given up with Paul and he's going to get back to the platform. Looking for steam locos and avoiding dairy at all costs. Jez at the table. Not an easy chance. I don't know what he's done with the white ball, but he hasn't wanted to do that. He's put it in the middle pocket and Brad has got a real chance here to salvage a frame, rescue some dignity at his second time of asking. Looks like he's going to bring the blackout into play. That's fine as long as that red gets out of the way of his yellow. I think he's just quit past. I think he's got a shot at this. He's down looking confident. Can he hold his nerve and secure a frame? No, no, he can't. He's missed a straightforward yellow, left it up, and Jez will be in, licking his chops at a fairly easy chance to make this 8-0 and keep the pressure on our league leader, Chris. As Jez is finishing this match off, I'll just quickly plug our TikTok channel. Only frames, you'll see us trying trick shots, playing Connect 4, and we're open to challenges as well. Give us a follow. This black is child's play for Jez, 8-0.